Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but it's the one that is most often skipped. Naturopathic doctor Olivia Rose is here with some easy, fast, and healthy breakfast ideas just in time for back to school. Know, back to school. It. It. I know. It's coming up so it quickly. Is. And know. breakfast is so important, and I'm very guilty of skipping breakfast really? from time so to time. Really? This is for you, then. All right. What do you have for okay, us? Okay. So for the most part, we want to look at making things overnight to make it easy for you in the morning. Yeah, that's that the biggest complaint I hear in practice. So mm -hmm. the first thing we have is the smoothie. If you like smoothies and yes. you you know, um, you know enjoy them, right. then you want to keep it simple. So there's tons of recipes out there where it's like just a whole bunch of ingredients. Mm -hmm. But just keep it simple. One part fruit one part vegetable, add in a sweet fruit like banana or mango, okay. a little bit of oatmeal, so one to three Ooh, tablespoons, texture. and that will texture, make it a bit thicker, filling, okay. make you feel full, and some protein. So this is a hemp protein, but you can use a rice protein, you can use Greek yogurt. You just want to try to get at least 15 to 25 grams of protein with your smoothie. I understand, and I noticed that you don't want to add too, ma too many fruits because, too much fruit, because too it's too sweet. sweet. Exactly. Too sweet. And put it in an airtight container, and then okay. you have it ready for the next day. That that's a great idea. Right? Okay, one part fruit, vegetable, protein, and yeah. you got your oatmeal. Exactly. Got it. Got it, right? got it. And then we have eggs. So mm -hmm. people complain all the time. Eggs take too long to make in the morning. They don't want to do it. So egg muffins. So <laughs> never seen this do. before. It's great. Yeah. So okay. keep it simple again. So choose like two or three ingredients that you like. Okay. You prepare it like you're making an omelet. So this yeah. has spinach. You can use chives. You can use red pepper. Chop it all up. Mm -hmm. Twelve eggs. Mix it up. Fill your container, your muffin tin, about halfway. Bake for 20 minutes at 350 Fahrenheit, and you you get egg muffins. Grab a couple of these on the go. So you've got protein in there. You've got new, uh, vitamins yep. as well from yes. the spinach. So it's very good for you. Exactly. Okay, I like that idea. It's simple. It's right? very simple. Okay. Right, and then we have my loaded crunchy toasts because there, uh, you know, there are so many uh, people who just love toast and butter out mm, there, but it's just mm, not enough. It's comforting, it's, you know? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you can yeah. start with a nice whole grain toast as a base. Okay. And then what you want to do. That. You keep talking. I'll and then what you want to do is choose your favorite That's ingredients. So pumpkin seeds, mm -hmm. banana, you can even use blueberries or yeah. chopped strawberries on there. Start with either almond butter, pumpkin seed butter. We have crunchy peanut butter. Mm -hmm. And then put your favorite ingredients. And kids love this. You're just they loading it up with this. good stuff. Exactly. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Any difference so, between almond butter and peanut butter? So almond butter, I tend to prefer because of the um, profile of the fatty acids in there, okay. a little bit healthier. Um, peanut butter, you can just get a natural peanut butter. It's not sure. so bad, but it's not as great for inflammation in the body. Got it. Okay. Yeah. That's great. So then we have chia pudding. So <laughs> chia seeds are fantastic. They're really good um, for They're you. so good. Omega-3 mm -hmm. fatty acids, vitamin D, fiber, protein. Okay. And and you can make this overnight as well. So four tablespoons chia seeds, some kind, some kind of milk. I use a yeah. coconut beverage, one cup. Put it in a container, shake it up, and then just add on top of it the next day all your favorite fixings. So you can just choose from you know sunflower seeds, Pick almonds, choose, whatever you want to do. Put it on there. Yeah, that's good. And it's okay that it's there overnight as well. You just stir it. You stir in the it next up, day. and that's and that's what actually creates the pudding. I tell you what, Dr. Olivia Rose, thank you so much for bringing us healthy breakfast ideas. You're thank you. My pleasure.